Insert damage montage, let's go! What's up guys, MTG Jedi here. How you doing today? I hope you really enjoyed that because it took a lot of time in editing. So go ahead and hit that like button. But anyway, let's go ahead in and jump in and break it down. Because one of the things I have a problem with a lot of times in these damage tests is you can't see the numbers. So all I did was I screenshotted where you could actually see the numbers and not just see the action. So if we jump in here, we start started out with Sigfrin's A2, and uh, the reason why I started with Sigfrin is because we need a base damage. We need something to go off of, and I thought Sigfrin is a very well-known damage dealer. He has some crazy abilities, and we can use our normal Dragon 20 setup in order to base the other damage off of. Also, I think we're going to see a little bit of Teok stuff in here as well, and I'll get I'll get to the reason there in a second. So here you can see his lowest value is like 344,000, but then on the A3, it scales up. So his A2 is really not the biggest damage on his uh, on his roster, on his kit, that's what the word is. Um and so you can see that we have a really nice baseline here. So when we come over and put his gear on Gretel, that's another reason why I wanted to use him is because we can, you know, swap his gear over. You can see that hers goes from about 230 to 265. 
and that is not bad. Basically, my analysis is that anytime you can clear the wave on Dragon 20, you have the potential to be a damage dealer for someone. And then you can see her single target A2, basically 100k twice, which is not bad. And then her A1 actually does really good damage, 242k. So Plaria might be onto something with this, uh, you know, blender strategy. Moving over to Teox then. The reason why I put Teox in here is because he has exactly a 4.0 multiplier. And so when we see this, we can tell that Gretel's multiplier is going to be a little bit less than that. Or approximately the same. If we're getting the ignore defense from the mastery here, then... See, it says ignore defense on all of them. So approximately a four multiplier for Gretel, but on the A1, um, really decent, really decent A1. So then A3, when we come over to Hansel, he has a 15% ignore defense on his A3. And so I think that that is an indicator that he's going to do a lot more damage. He's going to be the better of the two as a damage dealer. And typically with duos, they're not exactly the same. So a lot of times with duos, you build one as more of a support and one as more of a damage. Uh, Hansel is the one that you would build for damage here. And then his A2 is going to have the 217. Now with that A2... What we know is that it's a double hitter. So with Gretel over here, hers is a four hitter. So she will get a lot of damage on there. Not just those two hits, but basically probably like 400,000 or more. And then her A1 is single. Her A3 is single. And then on Hansel, his A1 is single. And then his A2 is double. His AOE is single, okay? So we do need to keep those factors in mind while we're having this discussion. So on his A2, that's a double hitter. So it is going to be 400,000, over, over 400,000. And I mean, I would say that's pretty incredible, so then when we come to his A1, we can see also really good multiplier here, 244. Jumping over to Nell, which, uh, shout out to Bleach here. <laughs> Nell is not gonna be a damage dealer for you, unfortunately. I mean, like, her first form is the support form, decrease defense and weaken, but, uh, it's just not gonna do good damage, but I think it is a good kit. And then over here, with her flip side, she can kill the waves. She can. But it's going to be barely. Like, I, I don't think you should rely on this. However, if you build her for damage while she's doing her decreased defense and weaken, um, then you can flip her to this form and be like, okay, single target, four multiplier approximately, kill somebody. And then, um, no, and then she will automatically do this after that. And all of that is pretty great. Now, I will go over all the kits at the end of the video here, so you can watch all the way to the end if you want to see the kits. A lot of other content creators are going to go over the kits. I'm going to be focused on the damage. So, your new faction champion... Um, he is going to be the faction champion for Demon Spawn. I do think that he's good, but he is not a damage dealer. He is not clearing the waves here, not even close. He is barely killing, you know, one champion with his single target A3, okay? Um, the coolest animation of the day goes to Signy, and Signy is going to be that new epic, presumably for the fusion. Really cool animation here. I love that. I need to use that for like a thumbnail or something. She is not a damage dealer. Uh, Denid, uh, this is the new rare, presumably, for the fusion. He is not a damage dealer. These, these champions have insanely good gear. 
Then we go over to Arnorn, who's the new Void Legendary Dwarf, and I would say he is very mediocre. For a specifically damage-dealing champion, no, no. And then the A2 and the A1, also no. I really, I don't understand the point of this champion. He, he's supposed to kill them i mean okay so uh, let's briefly take a look at what i'm talking about with his kit he does have an increase for each active buff it is a buff meta and he does have this prevent his death but in terms of the actual damage it's pretty low i mean he is ignoring some things uh he has this decreased turn meter if he kills somebody, but that's a big if. And then I guess if they're under two or more buffs, he's gonna kill them, okay, with the single single target, and then get an extra turn. And then, you know, again, increases for each buff on the target. So in practice, maybe he's gonna be better. Also, he doesn't have a blessing here, so that could make him better as well. So a lot of different things are happening with this group of champions. And last but not least, um, what I want to do is just briefly go over the kits of all of the champions so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. We just went over our Norn. Denid is going to have a slim chance of Provoke, an AoE Strengthen, which is not bad, and a Shield on himself. So reasonable rare, not that you would level him up, but maybe you need somebody for Faction Wars. Signy, same thing. Um, irrelevant A1. AoE can remove a debuff from allies, can remove a buff from the enemies. Fine, okay. Increase resistance, reflect damage, I guess is fine. Um, I don't know. She can reflect debuffs back to the attacker, I guess. It's okay. It's not good, all right? So permanently increases the damage with this ability here i think this could be a hydra ability do we need hydra abilities currently no but he does look freaking cool <laughs> okay um he plays the fear i don't know what we would be using this for i it's cool but i don't know and then over here uh damage uh in on his a3 Damage afflicted by the skill increases by 10% for the turns left of remaining HP burn. So it could be a good single target hit. Um, I, I don't really know. I mean, I guess we're attack we're ignoring stone skin and unkillable and block damage and stuff, but it's a single target. I, I just don't, I don't think this is it. I don't think this is it. And then whenever an enemy receives a buff or has their turn meter increase, places an HP burn on them. So this is a decent stone skin killer. And maybe that has nothing to do with anything. But like the block revive is good. So it's possible that you just build him and put him in your team. And then that helps you in live arena or regular arena. I don't know. So we'll have to test him, but like, eh, maybe, but then you'd have to have a full team of demon spawn, which I guess is possible. It's definitely possible, but is this the guy? He does kind of remind me of Teox. He does, but I don't know if it's him because like Teox is obviously a great damage dealer. He's not obviously, but Block Revive is such a powerful mechanic that I think that could be it. But then you'd have to have a, another strong DPS to pair with him in Demon Spawn, maybe like a Hefrak or something, so that if they ban him, you still have something to fall back on. But I'm pretty sure they just ban him and then they beat you. So, yeah. Nell is going to be great. She has decreased defense and weaken. She has a steal all buffs, which I guess if we put her in pinpoint, that could be insane. <laughs> steal all buffs, decreased defense and weaken, turn meter fill, AoE. And then the A1 is another steal. 
and she can place true fear, which is fine. On the flip side, it looks like she's supposed to be a damage dealer, but she's just not going to do any damage. Remember this champion kills an enemy using an active skill, grants an extra turn, which is great. Um, she's going to get a speed boost and a stat boost, so it's possible over a longer fight she could be good. Like you start her off in taking the buffs and boosting and that stuff, and then eventually to, to kill them, then you flip her. Um, I don't, I don't know. And then she's got this weird poison stuff. I don't, I don't really get it. I don't like it. It does not fit with her kit. So anyway, she is good though. If you get her, she is very good. Um, we already talked about him. We talked about her. We talked about all of the things. So does that mean you should go for Gretel? Let's wrap up the video here because it's getting kind of long. I think that if you build her for support with a little bit of damage, it could be good. It could be good. She could cut in. I don't know. AoE decreases their turn meters by 25%. Is that enough? I don't know. I do like I do like Hansel. For the record, I do like Hansel. And putting them on the same team will be good. So probably on stream we will be testing them. I will be testing a lot of stuff. Um, if you see this video on the day when it goes live, I'll be live. So you can come on out. You can rewatch that stream. Ask me any questions that you have here. And if, if needed, I can make a dedicated video. What do you like? What do you dislike? Did you like the layout of this video and the cropping and all of the zooms and <laughs> editing? Did you like that? Give me some feedback in the comments below. And if you haven't hit the like button yet, now's your time to shine. We'll see you guys in the next one.